We're back. And the name of this tape is, there's a whole lot of clowns in this circus. Right? Bean want me to do this class, right? All right, so we about to drop it on you. You know what I'm saying? Huh? You know how we do it, right? And the root of this situation goes all the way back, right? With uh, beings who sit on high, who stand out against, right? Of succeeding, right? And these beings are called today the Shriners, right? <laughs> The Shriners, right? Beans who wear the feds with the uh, pagalia all over it, right? The white guys who wear the feds with the pagalia on it, right? Shriners, right? And understand what shrine means, right? A shrine means a place where people are buried, like a, uh, you know, or to send reference to the dead, man. You know what I'm saying? A shriner is a person who guards a tomb. And what do you need a guard on a dead man's tomb for? Right? Unless you expect it for him to get up. Okay? Right? Elijah Muhammad talked about that. Okay? And these beings who call themselves the Shriners, right? Were set up in, on February, right? These beings who call themselves the Shriners were set up on February 6, 1877. Right? By 13 Freemasons. White boys, right? Who later on in turn, on July 26, 1908, they set up what they call the FBI. This group was set up first because niggas didn't have no money and niggas they weren't, weren't even doing nothing at that time when they set up. They set it up, right, to monitor the mob, right? And, uh, you know, Al Capone and the, the liquor prohibition uh, era. Right? They were going after Capone and his boys. Right? The Mafia. The Italians. Right? Okay? And then later on, when Gay Edgar Hoover, right, who was head of the FBI, right, he, they said that what they call the Cointel Pro. And right? And I know y'all don't know all this information, so we're going to put it out to you for all the people that don't know, and for the people that do know, we're giving it to you again. Right? Because repetition is learning. Understand that. So the coin tail pro, right? Coin tail pro. The coins, money, tail, right? The pros. The, the coins, the money tells what they got going on. Yo, tell them the pros. So that's why they go, when the feds come, they go out, they going out to the money. They looking for the money. Right? I'll tell you, man. So like you go do research, you find out that uh, Tupac's mother, right, who was harassed all her life after she got out of prison, you know, on, on the, uh, on the, beating the case against the Black Panthers, which, which she was part of, right, she beat the case, got out, and the FBI, the Cointel Pro, followed this lady around, right, and when she would get a job, after she would get off work, they would go into the job and, to, and convince the manager or the owner that they shouldn't have her working there. And the next day when she come in, she'll get fired. She didn't know why she was getting fired because the FBI, the Cointel Pro, was trying to cut off her money, which later on led to her falling into another one of their traps, which they set up called crack cocaine, right? Because crack cocaine did it, man. You know what I'm saying? Crack cocaine was a big infiltration of the black nation. We won't get into that, right? But the Cointel Pro... Uh, they have tactics of infiltration, surveillance, right? Discredit, right? Right? And they undermine. They do they they do crimes against the people. Like for instance, the FBI will find a black man who's smart and set him up, plant drugs on him, you know, put a gun, a murder weapon on him, and frame him and say, okay, well we got you with this. And why when they got when they got the people, then they would go into a thing where they would do uh well you you if you work with us, right? If you work with us, we'll do this. We'll 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 let you off these things if you work with us. And they be like, oh well, 
But if you don't work with us, we'll give you 50 years for this uh, gun we found in your car. Right? It's like, oh, that ain't my gun. Well, we found it in your car. It's, it's two against one. It's your word against ours, right? And they're going to believe us. Well, who's that they going to believe? You or us, right? They scare them into getting down with them, and then they get them to infiltrate the black nation, right? That's what happened to the Black Panthers. That's what happened to Malachi. That's what happened to uh, all, of, all the black nations that fell. Uh, 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 all the black leaders that were taken down were taken down by infiltration of their own people, right? And it's done, uh, you, you got to understand, your brother and them got to be stronger when these suckers try to set them up, say, forget it, give me 50. And they could never get, a get one of our black brothers a turn, then they would never take us down. But instead, they got black brothers who infiltrate, like a way they frame these brothers. Like, you go back and watch the movie Frank Lucas, all right? Uh, American Gangster with Denzel, right? His cousin was beating on his girlfriend, doing snorting powder, all right, cocaine, and ran out the house, and the feds was already watching him, and they got him on with a gun. Uh, they, they, they threatened him up, shook him up a little bit, got him with a wire, and he the one that got Frank Lucas took down, ultimately. Man, think about that. It's your own people, what they showing you, man. Infiltration of the black nation, right? Done by the Cointel Pro, who is the Shriners, right? Who call themselves the Shriners, the Guardians, right? The Guardians to keep us down, right? The, the, the Bilderbergs, the, the leaders of the Bilderbergs, who are Shriners, right? The beings who, who parade around, right? And they're not, they're not the real uh, group, right? Because we're not Shriners, right? We're on guard tomb. We're going to go out dead, people. We're going to live Right? <laughs> right? So we're a member of a secret order called the Order of Mel Chesedek. Right? And we guard the children of the Most High. Okay? But there are other beings who sit on high, who represent the square. Right? And they say everything is fair and square. Yo. And they always coming at you with an angle. Right? <laughs> okay, these beings, the, the high-ranking Freemason Shriners, right? Because it, it was a time where you had to be at least a 30-second degree Freemason to be John the Shriners. Right? Now you just be a three-degree and join the Shriners. Right? Now they, cause they lose the members. Because they, cause the gig is up. The people woke now. Ain't no sense of going to the no garden tomb because nobody's in there. Right? Take our feds off your head, white boy. Take our feds off your head, white boy. Because you're not us. And we know one thing. We see we see the the, uh, the medallion you got on there of a black man, a raw, of the guard raw on there. Right? We see who you got on there. Right? The guard raw. Right? Okay? A new. We know, okay? So you're not, you're not us, you're clowns. Which is why you dress like a clown, right? And you parade around in your clown cars and parades, okay? Because you're not us, you're clowns. And there's a whole lot of clowns in this circuit. Now ain't they out to a rape? Say it that. We're moving in a way and by which we're exposing these suckers, the imperialists. Those who meet once a year, they have think tanks out, man. What do you think crack was all about? Right? Crack was a plague, a plot, a disease, a dis-ease, right? And put up on the black people in the community to take them out, to set them back, right? These beans are the one that's serving the crack. These beans are the one that came out with the crack. They designed, they got uh, people in laboratories to design this type of thing, man. Infiltration of the black nation. Okay, we'll get into that crack thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Because crack is with man. I'm telling you, crack was the thing, man. But, but Gaga Hoover and his gang assassinated Freddie Hampton of the Black Panther Party, 
for self-defense. They, they assassinated Martin Luther King. They assassinated Tupac. Right? They assassinated Malcolm X. They assassinated Noble Drew Ali. They assassinated O.J. Simpson and cloned them. Because y'all understand they doing clone. Go back and get the other tapes, right? Clone part one. Go get that tape, man. And you'll see what's going on here. Right? So what we're dealing with. Okay? So these beings are freaky. They're getting freaky. They, they, they are twisted in the mind. They got a messed up mindset. Okay? And we're about to expose them. Okay? So they assassinated these beings because they say, because they got to understand, they, they, these shriners, these beings who are clowns, right? Because you got to understand, it goes all the way back. For all you Bible, uh, uh, Bible thumpers, it goes all the way back. We got something for you right here. It goes all the way back to when Moses, right, was being born, the Pharaoh supposedly uh, sent out beings to kill the firstborn of the Israelites in order to prevent a being from saving, a being from rising up to save his people. And then it goes on in the New Testament, right? What a being, what a being Jesus Christ, right? Yeshua El Messiah, right? Being uh, born and Herod sending beings out to kill the being, kill the babies prior to the being being born, thus trying to prevent him from coming, right? Okay? Thus, the same thing is going on now. They're killing babies by way of uh, Planned Parenthood, birth, giving you birth control, killing the wound completely with all this poison, right? And so, this is what's going on, infiltration of the black nation. Okay? And so, it goes all the way back, like we say, to the time when they killing the firstborns. And these beings, it were beings who came to protect Jesus, the baby Jesus, right? And these beings were what you would call uh, shriners, in a sense. But these beings were a Pacific, Pacific order. The order of Mayor Chesedek, called the Aseans. These beings, right? These beings were members of the order of Mayor Chesedek who came to protect the child. Now there are other beings who sit on the other side of the fence who came to kill the child, right? And these beings still exist today, right? And they'll go call themselves the Shriners. You wanna see them? Go to the parade. You'll see them riding around in their little cars with clown noses and faces, because they're clowns. And that's which, which is why they put out the movie, It. Right? It. It's all about them, making them scared, fear of the clown. Right? Because there's a whole lot of clowns in this circus. Okay? We might not to take that. It's a whole lot of clowns in this circus. Okay? All right, so we're going in. The Shriners, the bees who sit on the other side of the fence are here on behalf of Lucifer and his gang, and they're here to kill the uh, the rise of a black messiah. Because you got to understand about about the sheep and the goat situation. Because they talk about a goat in the Masonic order, riding the goat, feeding the goat. And half of them don't know what the hell they're talking about. See, a goat, right? A goat is an independent animal. And a goat can go off and live in the mountains on its own. Right? And it has no problem uh, defending himself and finding food for himself and water. Versus a sheep being a dumb animal. Uh, an animal that's uh, bred to have a shepherd. A leader. Right? To lead them this way, lead them to the water, lead them to the uh, dry land, okay? So in this, they know the beings who sit on the square, who call themselves the Shriners, know that every time you get a leader, 
they kill him. Right? Like we told you, they kill Martin Luther King. Right? Every time you get somebody who's great, they kill him. And when you're great, it's not murder, it's assassinate. Okay? These beings have also set up, these beings have also set up children hospitals all over the United States and all over the world. Call us Rhinos Hospital, right? Well, they they, they uh, do children's uh, surgery and other things for free, right? And these beings spend $4 million a day to keep these hospitals running, man. So where are these beings getting the money from, right? What kind of organization is this, right? It's dealing around the Cointel Pro. They all tied it together. The Jesuit order, right? The hidden priests of the Roman Catholic Church. The beings who are the the uh, the military brain power, pretty much, of the Roman Catholic Church. And the Jesuit order controls the Pentagon, right? Man, this shit is deep. About to go in, right? And what are these beings? Why do these beings... Uh, who uh, assigned a being by the name of Gary Hoover, right? Who was a known homosexual. He liked the young white man, right? He also was a known racist, a member of the Ku Klux Klan. J. Edgar Hoover, Gay Edgar Hoover, who was a known homosexual, right? Who who was the leader? Who was the uh, leading the command of the FBI for quite a long time because he had a lot of dirt on all the government. A lot of government officials that was in power, he had a lot of dirt on them. And he threatened them. That he, they ever uh, say anything to him, he just put out the dirt on them. Because you already, if you know anything about homosexuals, uh, like they say in the hood, they messy. Right? Right, baby? Homosexual. It's something about messy, and they keep, they gonna keep some dirt on somebody. If you try to expose them, they gonna expose you. Right? So J. Edgar Hoover, who was a known KKK member, a member also of the Shrine of the Order, right? Who was set up in, uh, like we told you, February 6, 1877, by the 13 white boys who call themselves Masons. And if you read the, the uh, Masonic book called the Blue Lodge book, where they said nigga could never be a Mason. Really, the white boy could never be a Mason because he can't stand in the sun. He could never be a Mason because he stands there in the sun. And he only got three degrees. We only gave you three degrees of the nine. And we didn't give you none of the passwords. Half of your passwords are wrong. Right? Because you change that last, you change that last, that third password out where you get a line's power. You can change that password out. That's not even the right password. And we're not going to give it to you. Because you suckers. You blood suckers are here. Try to prevent the coming of the Messiah. And you have been using our own people to infiltrate us. But we're on to your game now. And we're going to have stricter uh, rules for coming into our cl uh, clan now. We're going to do like you do. We're going to make them do a lot of take the tests, make them go through a basic training. Right? We got something for you now. Uh huh? Because you've been doing this too long. Your time is up. Right? You say your date is May 1st, 1776. Right? Your time is up. May 1st, 1996. So get off our get off our job and leave us alone. Right? You already spent billions of dollars to get out of here, so get the hell out of here. Right? And don't come back no more. No more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't come back no more. Right? What you say? Because they're dealing around Alba Pike and Madame Velasquez. Right? Who came over here and set up this Masonic thing. Dealing around the Scottish Rites and the Scottish Yards. Where they got the information from us. Where we only gave them three degrees to straighten them out. Because they were walking around on all fours in the caves, eating raw meat with their bare hands. We had to give them a little game to straighten them up, man. We felt sorry for them. So we gave them three degrees of our game. And we didn't give them the, 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 the natural information because they, weren't, they are not natural people. Okay? 
And to sum it all up, to go back to what we're saying, these Cointel Pro Beans assassinated uh, Bob Marley, right, where they killed him in Germany. Because you all was saying these beans had, these beans just kept, they used, back in the day, they used to shoot beans, you know, snipe them, right? Like they sniped Martin Luther King, right? They sniped Malcolm X in, the, in that theater because you got to go back. They go back to where Dick Gregory was talking about how they uh, rented that theater out of week four and put them holes in there so they could shoot. And he was shot from up top, not from down on below. So you got to go into that. Go check that out. Let's do with Dick Gregory. Uh, uh, I don't know if Malcolm X assassination. He go in on that, you know. And so these, this is all, these beans is the shrine. These beans that's doing this goes all the way back to a, a group of beans who sit on high, who represent the square called the Shriners, who are out to kill the Messiah, the black Messiah when he rises. Okay? They did Noble Drew Ali, making you all understand they don't just shoot people. These people poison you, they kill you by any means necessary. They poison you, they overdose drug you. And they, the new thing, they knew they favor new thing is giving you cancer, killing you with cancer, right? Because they got they got a, get a gun they can cause cancer. They got guns they can hit, darts they can shoot you with that will disappear, right? And we're gonna cut to one of them tapes and show you that information. We're gonna show you that cut to one of them tapes and show you that information, right? Uh, also, I had to find one time they wanted me to find um, to find out if there was such a thing as. Um, as a poison that was undetectable, especially one that seemed to uh, mimic a heart attack, that would kill someone, but it would it appear that they had a heart attack. I did find such a thing. Does this pistol uh, fire the dart? Yes, it does, Mr. Chairman. And a special one was developed, which potentially would be able to uh, enter the target without perception. The, the poison was frozen into some sort of dart and then it was shot at uh, very high speed into the person so at, when it reached the person it would melt inside them and the only thing would be like one little tiny red dot on their body which was hard to detect there wouldn't be a needle left or anything like that in the person but also the toxin itself would not appear in the autopsy yes so that uh, there was no no way of perceiving that the uh, the target was him about the heart attack gun. This is how you be, this is how to be Johnny Cochran was killed, right? Because Johnny Cochran and his firm represented OJ. They also represented Geronimo Pratt. Go back, man, because they, they tied all them together, right? Because they represented Geronimo Pratt from Black Panther, but they represented OJ in the OJ trial. Uh, Johnny Cochran and his firm was supposed to let OJ go down for that, uh, for that, that murder. Well, at least his clone, let his clone go down. That's why the gloves didn't fit, because it was goddamn clone, right? And they wanted, oh, they wanted, uh, they wanted Johnny Cochran to be with that, down with it, and he ended up beating it, because it was a natural black, a national black, uh, black on white type crime. It was gonna make him known, which it did, but it also costed him his life. And these beings, who are called Shriners, set out to kill this being uh, by way of their heart attack gun. And they killed him, and not only they killed him, they killed a couple more white boys involved with the case. Because uh, the Rob Kardashian, who was the Kim Kardashian, them daddy, he was killed uh, of a heart attack or some kind of cancer. Because they do brain cancer, they call it brain tumors, right? They got this type of technology now. So they be just on sack, they make it look like you was accidental death, or you died naturally, or some kind of uh, disease. This is how twisted these beans is, and how much technology they got a hold of them now. Right? So you gotta be on your P's and Q's. So these beans are using heart attack guns. These beans are shooting people dead, poisoning them, killing them and cloning them. I mean, this shit is getting freaky. I'm telling you, man, it's really going down. So, and they use, and now, you know, since, the, since they say they figure old oh, niggas, niggas ain't nothing no more, we got them. Right, because they, they put out crack, right? Let's talk about crack. When did crack come out? See, crack dropped in 1981, right? And it first appeared in the New York Times, but it didn't appear to the New York Times because the, the crack flooded off to the... 
the reason why the CIA put out a crack is not only to take out the blacks and, and have them going crazy and tripping over in the black community, but they used that money that they made off that crack to fund their secret programs they had going on by killing and by uh, these secret killer squads. They had secret kill squads that going out killing these uh, officials and leaders, and they was using the money off crack to fund these things. So they and like they black they black uh, space program. They got a black what they call a black space program, and they was using this black space program to fund the money uh, the money out of crack cocaine. And they was using beans like Freeway Ricky, right? Who who the rapper turned himself out of Rick Ross, right? But the real being named Free Ray Ricky, who was getting drugs from the CIA and pumping them on California streets. Wow. Being said he was making over 200000 to a half a million dollars a day. You know what I'm saying? Off of selling crack cocaine. Not selling just crack, just uh, selling bricks of cocaine that were being funneled from through Mexico, from South America, by, by the CIA to fund their programs overseas and other things they had going on. But crack was part of the infiltration of the black nation. And in 1994, when it hit the, hit the streets of South Central, man, it turned them up, it flipped them inside out. Crack made, made uh, you know, the, the crime rate to double, triple, within a couple, couple weeks. When it got the crack hit, that's how bad it was, man. And in turn, right, they cracked this in the damn head. Hard, cause people, more people were getting killed, shot, stabbed, robbed, more burglaries. Cause people that when people get high on crack, they want to get high on crack every day, all the time. So they call them a steer out of their mama's purse. They call them a pun they TV, pun they children's toys. There's still a lot of people in Atlanta on crack. Crack is, it's crack is starting to fade out now. Crack is almost fading out now. There's a couple people are still hitting the pipe, but you know, but, but crack. Yeah, in Atlanta. Crack calls people to pawn your DVD player, to break in your car and steal your iPod player. Crack calls people to steal the hubcaps off your car <laughs> and pawn them so they can get a hit of crack. Right? And so crack was an epidemic. But it didn't appear like we say in the New York, to, it didn't become a, a problem to the, to the government. The government didn't make a problem until November 17, 1985. During the Ronald Reagan era. That's when they, they, they nobody know you ever saw that movie New Jack City with Nino Brown. They said the the, uh, the Reagan area where the rich get richer and the poor get poor. That's what it was all about. Cause Reagan was an actor, right? Ronald Reagan was an actor who was paid to be president, to play the president. Huh? He told off as an actor who was hired to play president. Man, this thing is deep, right? Infiltration of the black nation, right? So in 1994, crack hit like a damn nuclear bomb in the black community, right? And it caused us to be poor. And some of the black, uh, most of the black brothers that's in prison now is dealing around crack cocaine in some forms of fashion. They either shot somebody over the crack, or uh, got caught smoking the crack, selling the crack, or rhyme with crack, or pipe, rhyme with a crack pipe, something. So, so you got all saying how much crack, crack was the next level after the Black Panthers and all that during the 60s, right? And they killed all those brothers, they killed Martin Luther King, which, which, was a, uh, which was a scam within itself because they had us fighting for civil rights when we already had uh, human rights. So, they, and so you got all saying Martin Luther King was picked and, 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 and put into the streets to make us fight for these. They, they made him the face, right? And he didn't kill them. Right? So this is how this thing going, man. We're dealing around beings who call themselves the Shriners, right? The Jesuit Order, right? Masons, high rank of Masons, who are, may she to it that the black nation do not have a shepherd. And they, every time anybody whack, get up and get the people following them. See, look, Jesus didn't become a problem, according to their teachings. Jesus didn't become a problem until he had millions of people following him and listening to him. Listen to him. When Martin Luther King got millions of people listening to him, he became a problem. Once Malcolm X got a whole bunch of people listening to him, he became a problem. Once Marcus Garvey got all those ships together and he was going to get ready to get people to get up out of here, he became a problem. And thus, 
beans who sit on the square said that this beans time is up. And and but but these beans almost these beans you know these beans have a, a saying baby that all things must come to an end. But they were too stupid to disinclude themselves. And in this they will come to an end too. Stupid Illuminati fools. Right? Killing folk with the heart attack weapons. Man, we watching you. We know you. We know everything you do. We know your moves. Right? You killed Dick Gregory. Right? We know. See, the mob is involved with this too, baby. You know that? Because it goes all the way back. The mob was dealing around the prohibition. You know, remember Al Capone and them? And they put liquor stores on every corner in the black community. Right? So the liquor was the, they put liquor first. That was the first infiltration by the mob. The mob is dealing, is tied in with the Roman Catholic Church and the Jews and all of them are tied in together. The Rome, the Jews, the, the Romans, uh, like the Roman Catholic Church uh, and the, the Italians, the, which is the mob, right? It's like, 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 like the guardians to, for the Jews. Right, because if you go back and watch any Italian movie, you see that they want to get a they always trying to marry a Jewish girl or trying to mix their seed with a Jewish girl. Yeah. This is it, right? So they all tying together. The mob was in on putting the dope, putting the dope in the black community, selling the dope to the black people, and the mob is 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 in with the Jesuits, right? Protected by the Jesuits, which is the secret police of the Roman Catholic Church, which are Freemasons, Scottish right Freemasons. Which, which, which are Shriners. And these beings are the beings who set out to prevent the rise of a black messiah. Okay? So we're dealing with the mob. We're dealing with the Shriners. And it's, so you know what I'm saying? We got the mob out here working against us, man. This is deep, man. Right? So the mob selling us drugs. The Koreans selling us hair. The Vietnamese selling us nails. The Iranians selling us gas and cigarettes, right? So how in the hell, hey, and pork, right? It strikes me very funny if the Muslims, the Muslims who cook all this, uh, they don't cook, like, man, I went to this one gas station, and these beans, they Muslims, and they cook, they got cooking more pork than the pork factory. And they spoke, they spoke, and they spoke to stand out against pork. Man, what kind of mess is this in the United States? You're in the belly of the beast. Every foul and unclean spirit. See, all them beings who was from overseas, who was Islam and left from over there and came over here, them beings were devils. They couldn't, they couldn't stand to be in a, a country, right, that's ran with Islam, like Islam, the real true Islam. They had to get the hell off of over there so they can come to the jungle so you can do what you want to do, right? You can go out to Las Vegas and get you a blowjob and nobody can say nothing about it because it's legal, right? In Las Vegas. See the devil, which they call Sin City. Right? Where they killed Tupac in. See? Tupac got killed in Sin City. Huh? Right? It all ties in together. Yeah, the black devils. The black scenes, white devils, you know about the white devils, right? But it's black devils also, right? And these black devils are used to infiltrate our nation. That's what we get down to, right? Our own people, like Jesus, hey like Judas, Judas betrayed Jesus, his own, his own homeboy, his own brother, right? Matter of fact, his own brother, he betrayed him and turned him into the police, right? Betrayed his own boy and turned him into the police. And most times when Somebody get busted, a nigga get busted, it be another nigga that turned them in. Right? <laughs> so we being infiltrated by our own people. We need to set up script. Hey, you got to, hey, take this note for all the people that are listening. Right, baby? Mm -hmm. If when you start an organization that from now on, you need to have stricter uh, rules. You need to have your rules set up like they got their rules. What all, what all you got to go through to join the CIA? It ain't to be the same rules you got to go through to join our, our uh, company or our organization, right? Baby, that's how we doing right. it. You got to take a lot of take the test. Right. You got to go through a basic training. Right. 
right? right? To make sure you ain't infiltrating us. We want to know your background. We want to know your family, your mama, your cousins. We want to know everything about you. So we can prove, we want you to prove to us that you're not working for the FBI or the CIA, right? Which is the main instruments used to infiltrate the black nation, right? Through discredit, domestic politics, through infiltration, through, uh, you know, the, the discredit part of it is where they put information out about you that's not true. Because they can, because you gotta understand the CIA, who controlled by the Shriners, and the, uh, the CIA controlled by the Shriners, which is controlled by the Jesuit order, these beans, right? These beans follow, uh, these beans are the same beans who are responsible. Right? The black nation have been a hey, the black nation has been infiltrated by every race, including their own. Prevalently blacks have been infiltrating blacks to help whites take down black organizations. Man, that's sad. Go get a job, it don't be the white man turn you down, be the nigga that turn you down. Now, ain't that about a Let me tell you what these devils did, man. And then they took rappers. Right? You remember MWA, right? Right? The beings like MWA, right, in the late uh, 80s, early 90s, right? They made beans like these beings rap about uh, selling drugs and how it was cool to do it, how they made money and they rapped about dope, right? And dust, and they put out movies about dope selling dope and people making money off dope and thus spread the idea of you can sell this this white rock and get this money and you can be, be riding around in these nice cars you can be clean you know movies like paid in full right movies like uh, New Jack City movies like Blue Hill Avenue right with these black boys selling their crack right not only uh, before crack, and in between crack and liquor, right? They came out with hair run, right? And all the people that was, they got these people that was over there because they had a lot of opium over there when they were into their Vietnam, right? To the Vietnam, right? So they got these these people hooked on hair run, and they came back and they was hooked on hair run, right? And these and, and so hair run was a was a thing that was infiltrated on the black nation. Especially in the New York area, right? That's the East Coast and New York areas, and the New Orleans. Crack, I mean, uh, what hair run, which is a different uh, type of thing coming from the opium plant instead of the coca plant, right? And hair run is still uh, being used widely today, right now in the hospitals when they give you, uh, what they call it, baby? They use well, what they what they give you for drugs in the hospital? They give you uh, morphine. That's opium. Right? They give you oxycodone, that's opium. Lord Tales got opium in it. Right? Uh, what's the other ones? Footballs, what they call them in Texas. Uh, those, uh, uh, those Xanax, right? All these drugs got opium in it. Right? Downers. Opium is a downer. Cocaine is an upper. Okay? And I guess weed is in between because Hey, niggas hit their weed and they can be crunk. If niggas hit their weed and they can be down. So I don't know what's going on there with that. But hey, you know, so they still serve hair run right now in the hospitals. And people go in the hospital and be in there for, for a month and get hooked on uh, meth, uh, that morphine, right? See, oh, like I need to, they, they calling for the nurse. They hitting the button for the nurse to get a shot of morphine. Cause they're getting high. They give the all, all the people do. They ain't into healing in no. They ain't into the healing in no damn hospital, right, baby? All that they do you at the hospital is get you high to get you. They keep you high in order to calm you down and and you know treat you with chemicals and pretty much kill you, kill you, uh, father the uh, father will kill you, right? Because you gotta understand if you look at these commercials they putting out. 
they put out drugs to say, oh, you, you take this, it'll help you stop smoking, but oh, it might cause suicide or depression, or it might give you diarrhea, or your blood might be thin, or you might have nose bleeds, or you might get your eyes, might pump out, type of shit in a small print. Right, but you get down. You like me? You mean tell me you giving me shit, this shit to stop smoking, and then it, 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 I'm gonna cause all this other shit? You know? Yeah, the de man, the devil game is up. If you can't see what he got going on right now, I mean, you just blind. His gig been up. To sum it up, all these black leaders, right? Marcus Garvey, Noble Drew Ali, right? Them beans will kill. Malcolm X, right? Trayvon Martin, Ali Bean will kill by none other than the Jesuits who will shroud us, FBI, CIA, blood drinking suckers, cold blooded suckers, right? And now that time is up, they waste them, you be wasting your money, CIA. To kill any boy, kill any other prophet, black prophet. You know why? You say why, right? Because your time is up. You better invest your money and get the hell out of here. Because the deals you made with those extraterrestrials, yeah, you know. Just think about it. The deals you made with a certain group of extraterrestrials, and they are uh, tricky. We told y'all they tricky. And they gonna they didn't trick your ass. Hey, baby, they're giving us dualities when it's not reality, right? And you say, what do you mean, right, baby? Right. What do you mean? You know, like love and hate. Love and hate. Yeah, they told you the truth. It's like like in order to know a thing, you must first know it's true and the exact opposite, right? And the true and exact opposite of love, they tell you, is hate. And this is far, so far from the truth. Right? That's not the truth. Yeah, that's not the truth. The true and exact opposite of love is not hate. The true and exact opposite of love is fear. Why? Because true love stands there at a time of danger and wishes his, his greatest gift, which is his very own life, to see that another loved one survive. Why fear runs and hide. True love give you the shirt off his back. And never would it come at a later date to say you owe me or oh remember that shirt I got gave you, man? You know? So the hey, hate is like a match, right? This is the way Artoon Ray teaches us. Hate is like a match. You take a match, you get uh you can warm, throw it in the fireplace in the cold and ask the kids to gather around and tell them a sweet, you know, sweet bedtime story while y'all roast marshmallows. Or you take that same match and while the kids are asleep and burn the house down. Yeah, yeah. Like, cause they, cause what if I hate a cold, right? Colds are bad. It makes you, your nose run, all that. What if you hate a cold? So it's the hearts of a different color then. So baby, the circle represents Love. And what is love? Love is life itself. Right? Yeah. And those beings who sit on the square represent the fear. And fear dictates that all things must come to an end. And in this, the Illuminati, those who call themselves the imperialists, the next time they gather, they should gather around and look behind them as a collective and see that their ass is out. They stated themselves that all things must come to an end, but was too stupid to disinclude themselves. They have given us their definitions, right? And the root word of definition is deaf. And deaf means that you can't hear. So they have trapped us in their three uh, dimensional system by way of uh, because you gotta understand that this thing is dealing around three. That's why in the Masonic Lodge they give you three great lights, which they tell you is the compass of square by in the Bible. But that's not true because 
the three great lights are Atum, Atum, and Amun. Right? We'll get into that later. Right? You're trying to trap us on three, right? Person, place, and things. Solid, liquid, gas. Past, present, future. One, two, three. A, B, C. Right? Because we only gave them three degrees. And they can't go past three. Right? They give our black brothers fame to sell us out. Sell their own people out. Because little you know what fame is all about. Right? Because you're dealing around potential hydrogen. pH. Right? Because they call these beans, listen, they call these beans stars. Right, baby? Right. They call these beans stars. And what is a star? A star is hydrogen burning out to create helium. A massive uh, energy, uh, energy uh, burn off hydrogen to create helium, right? The creative star, right? So these beans and, and, and oxygen keep a fire burning. O overstand the oxygen keep a fire burning. So these fans is blowing hot, uh, oxygen on these stars, right? That's why they call them fans. What do a fan do? Blow air, right? You see what I'm saying, baby? A fan blows air. Thus, blowing uh, potential hydrogen and oxygen on on a star. The more fans they get, the bigger star they become. Till they become a superstar, then a mega star, like Michael Jackson, mega star, right? I mean, you have uh, billions of fans. When you can get a billion fans, you become a mega star, right? You become a star when you get, uh, you know, like a, uh, you know, half a million fans and over. You become a star. Then you become a superstar when you go over three million fans. Then you get to the big, uh, hundred millions and billions, right? Then you become a mega star, right? And he's dealing around the hydrogen. These people become when you see some. That's why some of these people had so many, so much hydrogen energy on them that some people will faint when they see them, right? Maybe you ever wonder why people faint when they see Elvis Presley or when they see their superstar, they faint, right? Because they come in contact with a higher high level of hydrogen energy being blown on these people by their fans, the people that send energy to them, right? Because these fans are sending energy, right, to the people, right? Thus, making these, giving these brothers fame, blowing these brothers up to sell their soul, to create the rap crap and put it out to the people to keep them dumb, deaf, blind, right? Okay? So we're gonna, we might drop a whole class on that, so we can go in on that on the superstars and how that work, how the, uh, the pH level of these beans, like the pH level of uh, of beans who are superstars have a high level of energy, right? Beyonce, right? When she come into the room, when she come into a mall, that's why all people gather around her to draw some of her energy and to give her off, give her energy. Their fans give her energy, right? We're gonna break that down. We're gonna probably drop another class about that. But we're gonna go in. But these stars have sold us out. And they have infiltrated the black nation with the um, agenda of the extra regular group who hate us and are out to uh, describe us. 